welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me in another recipe. Today I'll be showing you how to make garlic butter steak. This garlic butter steak is one of the easiest steak recipes so far and you will end up with a very juicy steak at the end. So if you want to see how we make this, stay tuned and let's do it together. So we're going to start by making our garlic compound butter. In this bowl, I'm going to combine half cup of salted butter. You can as well use unsalted butter if you want. To the butter, add in four minced garlic cloves, a tablespoon of freshly chopped rosemary, a teaspoon of freshly chopped thyme. Two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley. A quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And a pinch of cayenne pepper. Once you have added all of these, you can now mash everything to combine. You can transfer the compound butter to a parchment paper. Wrap this up. You can roll this to form a log and then fold it tightly and fold the ends as well. This can stay in the fridge for up to a week. If you're not using all so I'm just going to place this in the fridge while we prepare our garlic butter steak for this garlic butter steak recipe I'm using rum steak so I've got 800 grams of rum steak here to it I'm just going to drizzle about two tablespoons of olive oil over on both sides So in a small bowl, combine a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of onion powder. Just mix this together to combine. You need to get your hands clean and then use the mixture to rub on the steak. I'm just going to be generous with it. When you're done, you flip over to the other side and rub as well. Place a heavy bottom pan on the stove top. And add about two tablespoons of olive oil to it. Let the oil get heated for about a minute. Once the oil is heated, transfer your steak to the pan. Once the meat has reached your desired doneness, you can reduce the heat to low. Add about 3 to 4 tablespoons of the garlic compound butter mixture. And allow it to melt. Once the butter mixture has melted, use a spoon to scoop this over the meat. And continue to cook this for about 2 minutes on low heat. Once your steak has absorbed all the delicious flavor from the butter, 
you can now turn off the heat. You can transfer your steak to a board or a dish and leave it to rest for about 5 to 10 minutes. After cooling your steak for 5 minutes, you can now slice this and enjoy. You can see this beautiful juice, especially not. So guys, this was a perfect way to make a juicy garlic butter steak. If you like, you can scoop some of the juices over the steak. This is really moist and I love it. This was how to make garlic butter steak and it's absolutely yummy. I hope you try it out and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. If you like the video, share with your friends and also give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do so and click on the bell button so you don't miss any video. Until next time guys, enjoy!